Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm at a church thrift store. They are only open a couple times a month, sometimes only once a month, but they are unveiling their Christmas items today. So we are gonna go check it out and see if we can find anything for resale or possibly even to keep, but most likely resale. Let's... Excuse me. Is there an Arlene here? Let's try to know what it does. Happy hunting. This is nice. Linux holiday toy shop. Twelve dollars. I think I might get that. I'm gonna put that in my bag. Dollars. I'm gonna get that. Okay, sorry about that. You're welcome. Put that in here. That Florentine pearl. Mm. Oof. My bag right here. Come here. I will take it. What's your name? And I'll put it back by the register. Nella. Nella. Oh, yeah. N e l l a. Could, yes. Could Perfect. you take my teapot too? Sure. Thank you. And what is your name? Tina. Tina. Okay. Thank you. Nella and Tina. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is pretty. This tea for one. Studio. Let's see that right away. This is nice. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Terry Meyer. Is Never that heard nice? of Terry Meyer? Long burger. Ten for this set. Sugar and creamer. Ten dollars, but the creamer's cracked. I think. And it doesn't have a lid. <laughs> Temptations by Tara. Excuse me. I do like that longer burger, but uh, five dollars a plate is not going to work out. These are unmarked. get this. over here that teapot intrigued me it's got a little spot underneath for the um like a flame nightingale song japan it's interesting Lots of snow yeah. babies. Oh, I like that one with Elmo. Yeah, I think it's the whole set. Did you want the whole set? Yeah. It's explained? Yeah. Okay. Let me check with her real quick. $20. This 
some more old stock Libby. Holly. I am a sucker for that new old stock stuff. Holy moly. My pleasure. It's my good day for the day. <laughs> Battleship. That's kind of neat. Big hitter. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to put it in my bag for now. She's here. She's around. I've talked her twice. Oh, I really like that. That's really pretty. Hi, Rose. Hey. There you are. No, no, how are you? Yeah. Sorry. I'm so glad to see you. Okay. Excuse me. Clothing room. It's kind of a nice bracelet. Six dollars. Condition. Coach. It is. It's got some wear to it. Small handbags, four, large, or six. I guess whatever, even six, that's a good deal. I'm going to add that to my bag. You can always notice Vintage Coach by the silhouette. Yeah, like small. Yeah, no small from here. No, totally so cute. Oh, that? I get it, I get it. Remember, you got your jacket on, so. It's a nice life is good. Tote. I love tote bags. I really need another one. What, being tall? Yeah. Oh, God, I wish I was small. Look at that. $5. Not Sorry. <laughs> Whiskey glasses. All right. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on? 
Okay. Espresso 25. I still have the one from that unit that I need to either figure out if I'm keeping or listing. Festive glow. Hurricane. Mikasa. That's nice. Okay, so Bunch of different mugs over here. Oh boy, get me out of here. Vintage, vintage plastic cookie cutters get those. They're cool. Mm. And some longer burger mugs. Three for ten. Very pretty. I'm a sucker for these blankets. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I might get this. Package is partially open. Can't believe nobody's in this room. This looks like some vintage. Sweaters. Bullfrog made in the USA. That's cute. I wonder how much these kids' sweaters are. Roy Togs. Doesn't have a size on it, but that's cute too. Yeah, there's no size, unfortunately. Does this one have a size? A size 4T. I think that's cute. J and D hook. That's what the other sweater was. Izod Lacoste. That's some staining. I never knew they did like a collab. This one's got some pulling. Florence. Eisman, does that say? Some Oshkosh. Another Osh. Oh, this is so cute. This little suit. I 
Oh, look at that. Oh, it feels, doesn't feel so great. But it is cute. Okay, here we have a girl's, the eagle's eye. It's got some staining on the front of it. Oops. This one doesn't even have any tags, but it's really cute. Should I get this? I don't know. Something's telling me to put it back. I'm not feeling it. All of a sudden, I'm like, nah. Okay, those don't look vintage anymore. I do like those vintage kids' sweaters. There's some Disney plush. Some kids' shoes. Five dollars for these. These are cute. What's the brand? Old West. They're kind of like Barbie-like. Oh, Mini Melissa. I love Mini Melissa. I really don't like to spend five dollars on them though, but these are really cute. Number blocks. These are kind of cute. I might get those for my nieces. Or my mom can give them to them. Okay, guys, so I spent a total of $62 at this uh, Christmas kind of sale, this church thrift store sale. Uh, and here is a quick recap of what I got. I think I did pick these up at the end off camera. I am going to keep these. I think they are so cute. They were $6 for the pair. And they have like a some stuff stuck to them they have like a faux fur kind of um detail to them and these are actually dennis basso home and he does a lot of fur coats faux fur coats for qvc i've sold a ton of them he even does like regular jackets and coats he's, he's a big coat man uh i think he might have some clothing too but it's mainly coats from what i understand and apparently home decor but I just think these are so cute. I love them. They say happy holidays on the back. So you could probably really maybe display them either, ooh, either way. <laughs> or you can break them and not display them at all. Uh, you know me. Anyway, I think they're really cute with a touch of elegance with the fur. And they're, they're soft. Very soft. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's jump into my major score right off the bat this vintage coach bag. I can't believe that they did not have this individually priced and it ended up being $6, which is what they charge for their larger bags and then $4 for their smaller or medium bags. So yeah, I could not believe it. So this is the um, Patricia Legacy bag. And if these are in like really great condition, these can like bring like two, $300. This particular one does have some issues, but I don't think it's anything real major. I mean, you can see like some corner wear, some edge wear right here and right there, kind of both sides, honestly, you know, some regular like scuffs here and there. Uh, interior definitely has some, you know, a little bit of like normal debris from, from use. There's even a penny in here. Heads up too. Well, it was my lucky day for finding this bag for $6. So, I mean, I still think this was a great, great find. And I suspect I will get at least $100 for this. Maybe even more, honestly. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, really, really, really cool, really cool find. 
I was excited. Very excited about that. Okay, next. I did get this um, teapot. It's got like a little child wearing a tartan plaid vest. It was $12. This is holiday elf rocking horse teapot uh santa's holiday toy shop i didn't even look this up i just got it i still haven't looked it up but i think it's a really great piece i'll pop some comps up on the screen if i see them but yeah for 12 dollars, why not i really like that unique teapot i got these mini melissas for five bucks i typically only like to spend two or three on mini melissas um or any kid's shoe really for that matter but these are just so cute i love all the different designs i mean these will probably sell 15 20 bucks plus shipping um some mini melissas sell for more uh this right here was ten dollars this is a victoria north star blanket by chatham it is a white cream color it's got this silky trim and this really nice like design to it. It's not just plain. It's kind of got like an elegant little design to it. I just really like this. It is still new in the package, even though the packaging does have some wear and tears, as you can see. The ends exposed there. Um, but yeah, I should definitely be able to get like $30, $35 for this blanket. Might even put that up on Etsy. I have not put anything on Etsy in a very, very long time. That may be the first item to go up on Etsy in a while. But don't hold me to it. I may just put it on eBay. All right, I got this Lennox Bell for $5. And I don't see the name on it, but I think it reminds me of the... Now I'm destroying the packaging. Uh, this styrofoam is easy to, easy to destroy. I believe that this is like the Florentine Pearl. Oh, that's actually kind of funny because the tag says five and then the inside sticker says eight. Well, I'm glad I got it for five because I wasn't going to pay eight. <laughs> anyway, I do have to look this particular one up. Um, I have to get that off of there, but it's very pretty. It is very pretty. I thought it had some wear to the gold, but I don't think it does. So yeah, I will just probably leave this out of the box so I can take some photos of it. A little styrofoam is like all over me now. All right, next, um, as I said in the video, this is going to go to one of my nieces, or it's my nephew's girl, so... Um, yeah, the youngest is like in preschool, but I think this will be cool for her. Little, little Christmas, Christmas fun. Okay, then I got these vintage cookie cutters for a dollar. Um, thought they were pretty neat. They're just plastic. One of them doesn't look like it's the same color, but it probably fits the set. I don't know. I literally have, I think, the same set at home somewhere. HM Made in USA. I don't know if they all say that. Looks like an HM. Anyhow, I can't really tell. I don't think that these are all original, to be honest, because that stocking does look a little bit different. But anyway, I'm trying to get this back in here. Um, that's not, not going back in here. I'm fighting with it. Cause it's not, it's not the one that's supposed to be in here. I'm pretty certain. Anyhow, I'm going to put these up for sale. I don't really need these. I'm going to buy cookies this year again. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, these are pretty cool. I do have some of these in my drawer though. Cause I, I had them for years, probably from my, my mom, maybe. All right, moving on. I got this little cute snowman. Looks like it says Valencourt. I don't know what else it says. Sutton. JC Valencourt 2002. I'm trying to peel the sticker off. There's something under it. Number 2112. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really know anything about this guy. 
I think he's ceramic. That's the base. So we shall see. If I can find anything, I'll pop it up on the screen. Not going to guarantee it. All right, then I picked up these bands. There are seven and a half. They're that real popular, like, cream color um, and black check pattern. Uh, my daughter had these. She had a couple pair of these. Like, these were all the rage a couple years ago. But I think kids are still wearing them. They're a size, I believe they're a women's, oh, no, they're a men's seven and a half and a women's nine. My daughter actually might take these. <laughs> they might end up going to her. Um, they're, I mean, like super gently used. They're in really good condition. I'm going to have to see if she wants these. I'm not sure if this is like still her thing to wear these, but if she wants them, I'll probably give them to her. If not, they'll go, they'll go up on eBay, probably like $30, $35 plus shipping. And la ooh, lastly is this Monet ornament. It, it's a 2022 ornament, so it's new, but it was $3. And I just, something about it, I just really liked. So we'll see. I may throw that up on eBay. I may keep it. I don't think I need to keep it. Um, it'll probably go on eBay. It is very pretty. So yeah, that is my haul. And I'm happy with it. I am definitely happy with it. I really, really, really lucked out with that purse. And I love that teapot. So I'm hoping it's worth something. So all right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.